That's the leftover residue from the uh, K390. We're going to try to tally all that up and see how many feet we cut. Um, it is still, well, it's really not shaving sharp anymore. It kind of struggles to shave, but it will still cut coffee paper. Oh so. my gosh. The entire garbage bag full of cardboard cut by this knife on one sharpening. It still slices paper pretty well for a total of, hold on, shoot, I should have written it down, 40, just doing some math here, two, three, 4,331 inches. All right, sorry, I, cut, I got it cut off, I did some math. So the total was 4,475 inches of cardboard. Divided by 12 is 372.91 feet of cardboard with K390. Wow. I ran out of cardboard. I literally did not have any more to cut. And I'll put my phone in the, in the mount here real quick and kind of show you how sharp it still is. I think it needs to be sharpened, honestly, but let me grab some... Oh, this is going to be too thin. I won't cut this, I don't think. This is really, really thin. Yeah, it's tearing that a little bit. No, it's still cutting it. I honestly think it has more. It's barely, barely just lost. It'll still kind of shave. I mean, you have to kind of push it. Not great. So it cuts this okay. So it pretty much still has a working edge, I think, left. Um, I think I could cut probably more cardboard. I'm going to call it there. <laughs> That's sufficient for my test. I'm not trying to see exactly the number how much, but that is insane. Like, that is awesome. That is, for me, that is impressive. I mean, I've seen M390 do... What does an iron stand do? Like 300 usually? You get about, usually those guys split it up between working edge and fine edge. And honestly, it still has a working edge on it. And it cut 372. Um, we'll call it 373 for rounding purposes. Feet of cardboard, guys. I haven't stropped it, done nothing. I literally just cut cardboard, cut cardboard, cut cardboard. I even did some cutting throughout the day with this. On top of that, 373 feet of cardboard is insane. Like, that is fantastic edge retention, guys. So, toughness was not the what I expected. I thought it would do better than it did. But, man, if you're looking for a steel that has good toughness, probably better than M390. Don't know, I haven't tested it. But it has, it has probably better edge retention than M390. It's not stainless. Tool steel. But, wow, that's incredible. I am blown away. I can't, I literally ran, I had so much cardboard set up guys for tests and stuff, and I blew through every bit of it. I found some more today, which is great. So I technically could cut more, but I think we're gonna call it there. I think that's a great performing steel. I think you want edge retention, K390. Man, and a tool steel with, uh, you know, some good toughness. Not the best toughness. I bet 4V is gonna do better. Um, but maybe even Rex 45, I don't know. I've got them both to test, but uh, yeah, wow, impressed. Sharpening wasn't that bad. So now we're going to see how it strops back to sharpness. So stay tuned. I just started stropping this. It's got a few passes on it. Probably ought to add more, <clears throat> add more compound too. Maybe a coarser compound, like a... I think the courses I have is some KBN. I have a bunch of that gargoyle spit that only goes up to one. I don't expect this at all to do what 52100 did, because 52100 <laughs> did about half the cardboard that this did. In fact, it could have gone, it could have done more too, but it's dropped back like immediately. So take that into consideration. I doubt this is going to drop back that easy i would be absolutely shocked if it did and i might test it on the if, it, if i can't get it back 
on this strop. I may test it on the Wicked Edge strops. All right. One more pass for good measure. Can we shave arm hair? I don't have hardly any arm hair left. <laughs> My wife's going to kill me. It's shaving better. That's pretty good. That's a bald spot. It's shaving better. Yeah, it's shaving. So it strops back pretty nicely. Wow. This stuff's freaking awesome. So it's not as tough as I thought, but that was the factory edge. So next test, as much as it pains me to do it again, I'm going to test it again with my 1000 grit sharpened edge um, and see how it performs and see if the toughness does any better. But strop, does it strop back? Oh yeah. Strops back nicely. Yeah, it's, it's shaving a lot easier than it was when I first um, finished with the cardboard. So that's pretty good. That's still got a pretty good working edge. Not sure. I mean, a pretty good fine edge. Mm. I'll cut through this stuff pretty good. You know, I bet if I spent a little bit of time on the Wicked Edge with the 1500 grit and then hit it with the strops, it would be back to slicing this paper really easily. It's struggling a little bit. It's got a, it's got a pretty toothy edge though. I, you know, yeah, it's struggling a little bit with this. I purposely didn't put a um, polished edge on this. Yeah, it's still cutting it pretty well. This stuff's super, super thin. So it strops back pretty nicely, actually. That's a lot, I mean, I cut 393 feet, no, 373, sorry, um, feet of cardboard, and it was barely, barely shaving, and it's kind of struggling through paper. A few, uh, just a few minutes, how long did this drop? For three minutes? Yeah, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes on a strop, and you can get that kind of performance back. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken, dinner. That is fantastic. It's certainly not topping hairs like it was when I first sharpened it, but like I said, a little time on those Wicked Edge high, high grit stones and the strops, and I'll have this guy doing the same thing. So that's awesome. Fantastic steel, guys. K390. Like I said, disappointed me a little bit in the toughness. We're going to try it again on this edge, see if it does better. But the edge retention is freaking fantastic, and it strops back pretty dang easily. So that's a high-performing steel if I ever saw one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.